Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the pathophysiology and the important notes about prions. So in our bodies, we have a protein called the prion protein, which we dub PRP, and it's found throughout the body. However, prion C or PRPC is only found in the central nervous system. On a molecular level, prion C is an alpha helical shape while its evil twin is a beta sheet shape. Now the regular protein is called prion C, the evil one is called prion SC. The problem is that prion SC can convert normal prions to prion SC as well. And this can start a chain reaction. And prion SC can cause spongification of the brain. The exact process is a non-inflammatory vacuolation of the axons. So the neurons, the axon of the neuron will have vacuoles inside them and this will cause spongiform brain. So it affects the gray matter. Now this presents as rapid dementia, ataxia and insomnia, along with other symptoms. We have three main types of prion disease. They all have the exact same pathophysiology, and the only thing that differs is the source of the prion protein. In Jacob disease or Jacob dementia, it's pretty much the same thing, with myoclonus progressing to dementia. In bovine type, the source is cow's brains. And Kuru type is due to cannibalism. It's very important to know that prion infection has a very long incubation period or can have a very long incubation period, but once the disease starts, the progression is very quick. In other words, somebody could be infected with prion SC and not show any symptom for many years, but once symptoms start, the progression is very quick. Spongification is due to axonal vacuoles. It's a non-inflammatory process. And for iatrogenic causes, the main sources are coronary transplant and implantable electrodes. Sometimes we implant electrodes in patients' brains to simulate growth hormone release in a, a very specific rhythm. And here's a small quiz. So can we sterilize a sample using autoclave? And the answer is mostly no. Alright guys, that's everything I've got. Hopefully I made this easier for you. Thanks a ton for watching and I'll see you guys later.